Okay, hello students. So uh, today we are discussing a topic that is low power distal cell di distal cells library. So I am taking this topic. I am taking this topic from the book Gary Yap. Okay, uh, we already know that. Uh, when we need to design, when we design any uh, distal circuitry, so uh, the fabrication steps are, or we can say the implementation steps are masking, then implementation of trans transistor, then by using transistor we implement gate, and then we are moving toward the register transfer level. Okay. So uh, by using this, uh, we can implement any type of complex logic circuitry in very small area okay now uh, when we try to design any distal circuitry at the gate level so it is very costly because of complexity and power requirement okay it means that if we want to design any distal circuitry and for making a circuitry we design any transistor individually and by using transistor if we implementing gate so this type of uh, um, so this type of implementation is uh, very costly if we are de uh, dealing with a complicated very complicated circuitry so and also the power requirement will also high in this type of circuitry okay so uh, the quality or performance of gate level gate level depends on the quality of cell library okay so uh, total quality of if you implement uh, if you implement a gate library if you implement a circuit um, by taking a by taking a um, by uh, taking a basic element as gate so uh, if you implement in individual gate uh, it if we implementing individual gate for making a circuitry without using any library so it will be uh, it will be very um, it will be very uh, time consuming also the power requirement power consumption will be high in this type of circuitry so to minimize this power dissipation to minimize this complexity what we will do we can uh, we can make a sim where we can make a simple library we can make a simple library and in that library we implement several cells okay we implement several cells we form a different uh, structure of uh, we uh, form a different cell structure and when we need to design distal circuitry only what we have to do we only need to call that particular library at that time okay so uh, some properties of cell libraries are mentioned below okay some properties of cell libraries are mentioned below so one is cell sizes and the second one is the spacing okay this one is the first prop property of uh, this one is the first property of cell library and the second property of cell library is variety of boolean functions okay so uh, first we will discuss what is uh, what is the mean of cell sizes and spacing okay so if we implement if we are discussing the top down cell based design uh, so at that time some coordination is required between power area and delay okay so uh, uh, how we can do uh, do this we can do this we can do this coordination by by taking a approximate by taking a approximate sizing of the cell okay so we uh, so the uh, sizing in transistor level rarely used because of difficulties in uh, automated physical design 
okay so only uh, what we have to do uh, um, if we are using a cell library so by using a simple structure of cell library we will uh, we will we can pro we will provide uh, uh, several sizing several w by l ratio of transistor and uh, whatever size of transistor is required we directly call from that cell from the cell library and by using this step by using this step we can minimize we can minimize the complexity also we can minimize the power dissipation okay now therefore uh, we need uh, various type of cell size in the cell library for uh, for the uh, commonly used gate such as AND gate OR gate etc so we, we need various sizes of AND gate various sizes of OR, OR gate various sizes of NAND gate because uh, for implementation of any circuit the basic elements are these uh, basic elements are these gates so that's why we need a uh, we need a cell size we need a um, gate of different sizes so if we uh, if you are taking if we uh, if we can if we can make a um, if we can make a library if we can make a end gate library in uh, in different sizes so according to the requirement we can directly call that particular gate from the library okay now in the past uh, when library cell are not designed so available sizes are limited okay so up to 26 up to 26 uh, different gate size uh, up to 26 sizes of gates can be used in a cell library to improve the efficiency okay also for example if we uh, if you are taking a capacitor if you are taking a capacitor within a range such as 0.1 microfarad to uh, 0.5 uh, uh, picofarad uh, so uh, there should be uh, more cell sizes available to drive the capacitance usually the capacitance are concentrated in the low range okay so by using the various sizes by using the various sizes of gates uh, 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 we can also reduce the cells we can also reduce the chip size also it is um, it is easier for easier for the designer to take the proper spacing between the two different uh, uh, two different rows and two different columns Okay. now what is the second property the second property of this cell library is variety of boolean functions now what is the mean of boolean function we know that in any type of digital circuitry uh, the number of boolean function is totally depend upon the number of input it means that if you are giving a if we have our two input any in any gates so according to two input we know that four type four different output combinations are generated okay so uh, we, we can generate four different output combinations okay but if you are talking about the boolean function so how many boolean function are generated so there is a relationship between so there is a relationship between number of bit and boolean function this m is rep uh, used to represent the boolean function number of boolean function and this n is number of bit that is provided as an uh, that is provided as an input to the circuitry okay suppose i am considering n equal to 2 so uh, 2 raised to power 2 that is 4 and 2 raised to power, uh, 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 so m equals to 16 it means that if any digital circuitry has two inputs so in that we can implement uh, 16 different boolean functions okay so and when we uh, when we increase this uh, when we increase this n so uh, definitely the number of boolean function will be increases okay so it is not possible for the library so it is not possible for the library to uh, to add all the number of boolean function in the library it means that it means that suppose uh, we know that in the two bit of um, in the two bit gate there are the 16 function such as a b bar if you are if the input are a and b so uh, the uh, so the boolean functions are a bar b bar a b bar a bar a b bar plus a b so all these are boolean functions okay so uh, it is not possible for the uh, it is not possible for the cell library to implement all the boolean functions so there is one property of boolean function what is that what is that here one um, example is given here it means that um, 
if you need to implement this function y equal to a b bar so uh, what uh, what uh, which type of gate we required first we required our not gate for converting a b into b bar and then by using end gate we can convert we can find out the y equals to a b bar okay it means that this or this also consists of drive this uh, also can consist of routing capacitance because some input output path is there also um, also this gate also consists some routing capacitance so here the capacitance will be here the load will be high and also there with some more propagation delay so how can we minimize it if uh, we can minimize it we can minimize uh, we can minimize it by avoiding this internal uh, this inverter if you make uh, if you make make a cell if you make a simple cell if you make a simple cell of this inverter and directly if we call uh, that um, inverter cell from the cell library so we have only one structure here okay so we uh, we can we uh, we can able to convert a uh, two gate into one bit here one is the cell library and another another one is the end gate okay so by using this by using this we can uh, we can reduce the we can reduce the uh, driving capacitance all, uh, also we can reduce the propagation delay okay some advantages but it is not possible to implement a boolean function implement a cell library for each and every boolean function okay so uh, there is some properties of boolean function uh, that can be used here such as if uh, there are the two input boolean function one is y equals to a b bar and another one is the y equal to a bar b okay so these are uh, these are uh, some identical form of uh, boolean function these are some identical form of the boolean function so it is uh, so it is not required to implement these both uh, uh, boolean function in the cell library we can implement only one any one of them we can implement a boolean function any one of them and uh, by using these uh, symmetrical uh, equivalence by using the symmetrical equivalence we can uh, we can use this cell library for the another function another boolean function okay same as one more property of uh, one more property of this uh, cell library is that if the equation is similar such as if the one boolean function is a b plus c and another one is the b y equals to a c plus b so here you can see only uh, if we replace b by c if we replace b by c instead of uh, using the b if we write c here and instead of writing c if we write b here so by using this re uh, replacement by using this interchange of b and c we can uh, we can we can we can make a uh, we can make a uh, we can make a cell library of only one fun boolean function and by interchanging b with c we can use it for the another boolean function okay this one is also one of the property one uh, one also interesting property of uh, this cell library is that um, if the input is a y equals to a b if the input is y equals to a b and uh, some more inputs are there such as y equals to a bar b and y equals to a bar b bar okay so by using the uh, by using the input negation okay input negation or also we called it it as a, uh, input negation equivalent by using this property input negation equivalent uh, we can we can make we can make a cell library for only one function such as y equal to a b and we can uh, we can uh, by using the input negation property we can uh, we can uh, we can get uh, we can use it for finding the y equal to a bar b bar or uh, y equal to a b whole bar okay so this one input negation by using the input negation equivalent we can use one library we can use one library cell into several places okay okay all these are the properties and the theoretical part of cell library i hope all of you understand this topic very well okay thank you so much in next topic we will discuss some uh, in next lecture we will discuss some 